you cannot dictate how much people can and cannot no, come. No, the County Council's Finance Committee took up a resolution seizing the Popeye Co. Mill Road and beach access by eminent domain during its meeting on Tuesday. County Council Chair Dominic Yagong introduced the measure which drew mixed public testimony. The issue has been festering for years. Many in the community say this path, which has been improved and fenced off by its owners, with access granted during certain hours, has been the traditional access to the popular Papaiko Mill for generations. But tensions between the owners and the community have risen as access has been restricted. Emotions at a community meeting held in Popeye Co. on the subject ran high a few weeks ago. What is this? Six to six. We're not going to go down there at six o'clock. We're going to go down there at break of dawn, which is 4.30 to whenever. But no, the gate is locked. Makes it hard on the local people for feed families. I'm not trying to threaten anything, but I can tell you it's that serious to me and to my family and to the rest of the community that if we lose the access, going to get big trip. No decision was made on Tuesday, though. Yagong instead asked for a public hearing on the matter. In the audience on Tuesday, owner Charlene Prickett and James Waugh. For the first time since we filmed this roadside protest over the restricted access in 2010, we spoke to the owner about the situation in the hall outside the council chamber. I guess we came as naive Canadians. We uh, thought that it was the right thing to do. And, uh, and it hasn't turned out to be uh, the right thing. I guess everybody that has talked to us said, why don't you disclose? But uh, it's our priority to try to stay open. Our, our initial thought was there are kids in this community who are over there wrecking the Mauna Kea sugar bi bi buildings every night, uh, stealing hubcaps, breaking windows, whatever. It would be much better for them to be at the beach surfing. Wall recounted hearing about the resolution for the first time. Well, we, got, we got notice on the 17th. We'd like to move this through the court system for eminent domain. Four days before the meeting in Popeye Cove. And detailed his right to restrict access, which he says is determined by state law. Yeah, well, we built the trail, so we have always kept it open. Except for the days the state requires us to close, you have to close to show that, uh, that it's still your property. It has not been been an easy time for the Wa family living on the contentious land. We've been threatened with death. We have had uh, threats of burning our house down. We've had vandalism to our house. We've had people break into our house. The public hearing will be held on October 10th at the Popeye Co. Gym. The public hearing will take place after a site visit by the council members, which will take place on Mr. Wa and Ms. Prickett's property, which is situated in Popeye Co.